friends, this is your Pastor Roy Olson talking to you, bringing fresh manna for your thoughts, for your contemplation, for your edification, I hope. And here goes. Someone uh, called my attention to the fact that some constables, soldiers, were sent to bring Jesus back, and they came with, back without him. And the reason they gave when asked, why didn't you bring Jesus back with you, was no man ever spoke like this man. Now, that's a statement of fact. They are hardened uh, soldiers, we assume, and have been around the block a couple times and have listened to many people speak. And they came back, they said, we never heard anybody speak like this man, referring to Jesus. Nobody ever spoke like this man does. And so that's a statement of fact. Either uh, nobody ever did or they were mistaken. And uh, what are some of the things that possibly they heard Jesus say? Well, uh, Jesus said, uh, I am the bread of life. Now, I can't remember anybody else ever saying any time, I am the bread of life. Not Churchill, not Truman, not Reagan, not even Trump. Not Stalin, no other thinker, speaker, leader, in my recollection, has ever said, I am the bread of life. What else did he say? He said, I am the light of the world. Now, I know some people have uh, flights of ego, and they think they're hot stuff. I mean, I remember even in the Cassius Clay Muhammad Ali saying, I'm the greatest. Well, uh, he didn't say, I am the light of the world. Only Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So far, these constables are doing okay because nobody ever said that in all recorded history. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. What else did Jesus say? Jesus says, makes this astounding statement, He that believeth in me, out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Whoever said that? Um, and now uh, some people say, believe me, believe me. But they never say, if you do believe me, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. That's that's out of the box. Nobody ever said that. And uh, how about um, he that believeth in me, nevertheless, though he die, nevertheless shall he live. What's this? Somebody who believes in Jesus, even if they're dead, they'll still be alive? Whoever said something like that? Only Jesus said things like that. And there are many other things such as, as that nature. I am the good shepherd. I am the door. I am the the light of life. I think I mentioned that one. And um, Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. He didn't say, I have it. I have the way. I have the truth. I have the life. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And so indeed, I think we can safely say that when Jesus was on earth, he spoke like no other man ever spoke. And why is that? Well, the, the God said that his servant, he will put were his words in their mouth. And Jesus said, my words, they are spirit and they are life. The words of Jesus, they're, they're spiritual. They're meant to feed the spirit of man and it brings life. And as Jesus said, 
uh, he that believeth in me, nevertheless, though he die, he shall live. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him, two things happen. Number one, they will not perish. Number two, they have everlasting life. That magnificent, that glorious, that simple. And so today, dear friend, whatever is going on in your life, whatever is happening, remember, Jesus was God manifest in flesh. Jesus is God. Jesus died, but he rose again from the dead. And Jesus is alive and with us today. And God bless you. And have a rich, wonderful day. And I send us with special thoughts to my friend Roger Copeland, with whom I spoke this morning and his lovely wife, Vicki. God bless you. My name is Roy Olson, and I'll be back. Goodbye.